that, they don't want you to find it. Bro. Oh. <laughs> they don't want you to find it. They want us locked in the matrix, bro. Conspiracy theories. It's not even a conspiracy. It came out back. Like, I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there were two questions left. Yeah, two questions two left. Time, <laughs> <two> <laughs> is it something that's genetic or is it what? No, but you get what I'm saying? The, the, the whole conversation just spiraled. I'm <laughs> 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 are you already tuning in that? Uh, this is not planned. It's not planned. This is not planned. <laughs> it wasn't. No, nah, it wasn't. It, wasn't. it must have been because you, you saw my story, didn't you? No, nah, I did, yeah, but for some reason I thought. I don't know why, I just thought you were going to change. I, I think it's, if I had time, because I, I dropped off laundry at home, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I came here, but I was like, should I change? I was like, nah, I bun it. That's because I got back from the gym, and I was like, do I have the creative juices right now to come up with an outfit? No. <laughs> and my SST, I was like, and I looked back at the episode, so I really, when was the last time I wore it? I was like, oh, it's been like a month. That's exactly <laughs> what I said. I said, when, I said, last time I wore this was probably like, like last year somewhere. I don't yeah, even know. It's been a while for you, me. I, I do like every month, so, or every like five, six episodes. So. You're not serious, man. Well, yeah. you started now, innit? Yeah, yeah it's, it's been recording. Oh, okay, cool. But yeah, this has been a twinning episode, I guess. I'm going to lay with this one. Treacherous Twins. Treacherous twins. But you guys are now locked into the Out Cheer podcast with myself, Mid MB. J to the Izzo is in the building. Yes, sir. And we've got another episode for you guys. Guys, I can't lie. I appreciate you, man's support, you know. One seven hundred subscribers now. Well, we've hit it now. We've hit it. Well, 700. Yeah. Do you know what that I means? Did. It's 0. 0.7k. About so if, damn time. About damn time. <laughs> Do, hold on, let me, let me move this out of the way. Guys, please, we're trying to get hit 1k, yeah? So make sure if you guys are on YouTube, you like and subscribe. They can't even see this. Make sure you like and subscribe, yeah? Like and subscribe. We're trying to hit 1k by summer. Guys, we got a lot of stuff pen- We got a lot of stuff pending. We got a lot of stuff pending, trust me. If you guys like the wireless video from last year, mm. I'm not even going to say more, innit? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. if I say more, I'm going to spoil something. But <laughs> yeah. That's becoming big trouble. Big, big trouble. But um, you got the hit blocks for today, yeah? Yeah, I've got the hit blocks. So no more take it away, bro. Uh, cool. The first one is there are certain things you can't do below the waist. Huh? There are certain things you can't do below the waist. What are you trying to say? You can't wave below the waist. You can't wave. <laughs> what? Wait, do that again. <laughs> it just looks weird. Okay. If, and have you ever seen someone knock on the door? Like, below the below waist. That is weird. That is weird. But said, it's the same thing. I said, this guy here. That Even that action just looks weird as well. Yeah, it just looks wrong. Nah, it's not even like anything dirty. It's just weird. Like, it's it just looks very weird. You can, well, but, uh, can you? No, you can do it, but. No, it can be like. So, like, come here. Yeah. Like, now that's different. Because you even bent your body down. I'm saying, like, you're standing straight. You're standing straight and you're going, <laughs> yeah, no, on the slide. Like, oh, yeah, go, 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 go. Nah, that looks like a, like, hmm, a no. Jimmy Savile as person oh if you're doing goodness. that. Because why are you going so low to a grown adult? So why would you do that to me? Huh? Why would you do that to me if my eyes are up here? Why would you go all the way down here? Maybe if I'm trying to do it on a slide. I think we figured it out. Pedophiles are the only ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. It's just a pedophiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, Damn. Yeah. <laughs> you covered that one. <laughs> so we got him. We got him now. Uh, cool. The second one is strap on, spelled backward, is no parts. Bro, where are you getting these wiggly <laughs> hip blunts from, bro? Chat GBT. <laughs> you going to bleep that? What? What you just said now? What, Chat GBT? Yeah. Oh. Okay, first. I thought you guys ain't got my props. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be like, so what does J to the Izzo say to you? <laughs> um, Probably could do that. No strap on, no parts. So what are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. It's just no. So what's the hip blunt? <laughs> strap on, spelled backwards, mm-hmm. is no parts. Okay, that's it. So what are you trying to? What's the <laughs> what's the message? <laughs> can you see because I ah oh, I know this guy you know what you're trying, you're trying to put a little a little read between the lines thing no I'm not alright go on go on, go on. <laughs> say it plot subliminal <laughs> mis- sublim- subliminal messages and them that's things that's how your mind goes alright fair enough fair uh, enough cool. the last one is 
This if we it's moving like Trump, bro. Go on. <laughs> uh, cool. The third one is if we evolved from monkeys. Why do monkeys still exist? That's exactly what I say to all these stupid people. They're like, oh yeah, of course you came from, it was the Big Bang and then mm. monkeys and then da 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 da. I'm like, okay, but if that's the case, where the fuck is the ones in between? Yeah. The little monkey man or whatever. No, but I guess like, you know, um, come on now. Not survival of the fittest, but. No, I, I get, I, I get a natural, natural selection yeah. and survival of the fittest, but surely if we evolved, there's no way that we could just cut out the middle process and still... Have the beginning and the end process. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It has, yeah. And, like, for the amount of monkeys to, to human beings in the world, for that logic to make sense, it doesn't make sense. Because surely, if there, if there was, like... If we did come from monkeys, mm. and then... We, so, monkeys, uh, I don't know what they call them, Neanderthals, and then us, yeah? Mm. If the Neanderthals are extinct, mm. then that means there should be a lot more monkeys and a lot less of us. Bro. Because think about it. If it was one yeah. into two, but a lot of this one didn't survive, yeah. that means that either way, there's going to be half. Do you get it? It's like it's, it's put in half. Do you get what I'm trying to say? No, but you're, I'm trying to know, you're making it sound like this timeline is very close together. What if it was like... No, I know over monkeys, 100. <sighs> and then the other ones got wiped out and then there was a couple humans and then those humans kept repopulating, 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 repopulating. Why aren't the monkeys repopulating? What what's, stopping you them? what's stopping the monkeys from repopulating at the same rate as humans? I mean, NBA young boy is one, one reason. Are you calling him a monkey? Or <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just, you just I'm call just him saying, a monkey? I'm just yeah, saying. I think you just call him a monkey, you know? Every child a monkey Aye. has, every young boy has three more. So. Oh my <laughs> goodness. I don't know what you're trying to take that, but... So, so you're saying he's a superior monkey? Is that what you're saying? We well, you actually got him. Can you nah, see? Because he, he all skipped I'm saying, it. No, 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 no. All I'm saying is... <laughs> NBA young boy is making sure the human population stays. Arrest there. this man. Him and Nick Cannon. Arrest him. Arrest him. Nah, man. But speaking of arrest. Yeah, crazy. Donald. Do you know what's mad, though? Yo. Of all the charges, mm. like, so obviously he got arrested for um, hiding, like, falsifying business records or whatever. Yeah. And it was because that he was hiding hush money payments, not payment, payments. Mm to a porn star that he had an affair with or something like that? Yeah. Did you see the amount that he was paying? One of the payments was 120 bags. That's chicken change for him, though. No, but I, I, no, I get that, but... How much is that salary again? Huh? That's, isn't it like a mil a year? you the president? Yeah. Psh, that stupid. That's like 10%. <laughs> That's not yeah, man, man, what are you saying? Man, the tie, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what I'm saying, though, but like, 120 bags to keep quiet. Yeah. But he's didn't he bury information under his wife, his dead wife's um What his dead wife's name? No, in her casket. Mm? Yeah. Well like took it to the grave with her for real. What do you mean, <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like when would you go with that verse? <laughs> <laughs> Man said those seekers are gonna die with my wife. <laughs> No, is it like he just? I think he put in a golf course and with his dead wife. Does this guy think he's Batman or like? No, but like he's gonna look there. No, but that's what I'm saying. Only villains in the MCU do stuff like this. Yeah, I know. What the hell? No, nah, that's weird. I don't know. I just I just heard that it was about the um, falsifying business records mm. and basically like hush money because it's weird because it's not illegal per se, but it's like. I don't know. It's one of those ones where it's like a clause in the law where, mm. okay, we can take legal action. Do you get yeah. it? I think it's only if you're like a down. Oh, 100. 100. Did you see what he said? Bro, so they imagine they arrested him. Obviously, they said mm. no mugshot, no mm. whatever, which is wild anyways. <laughs> Someone said Twitter would have had a field day. Bro! I would have been so many people's display pictures. Bro, bro, Donald Trump in a orange jumpsuit yeah. with cuffs <laughs> looking like Jamie St. Patrick. <laughs> you're a good businessman, bro. <laughs> nah. So apparently he went home and he did like a um, prime time, mm. what do you call it? Uh, like an announcement. And he said, uh, he was basically saying, look, all you niggas that wanted me out, all you Kamala Harris niggas, mm. uh, Obama niggas, whatever. He was saying it for everybody, and he bro. said niggas as well. I mean, basically. <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically, I was like, damn, you send it for people's families and grandmas. Like, no word of a lie. I was like, damn, Donald, this was a real president. That's how I know this American country is finished, bro. I can have someone like that as president. But to be fair, he's done a lot of good, though. 
He brought him Kodak Black and Aesop Rocky. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Just give him his flowers. But then again, <laughs> you can't give wait, him wait, 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 wait. If he didn't bring home Aesop Rocky, Rihanna wouldn't be pregnant right now. I feel like we need like another 10 more years to see that butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like, we, like maybe that child is going to dominate the world and then we'll be like, it's all Donald Trump's fault. Who knows? Exactly. What if the world just come? What if the child just comes on fuckery? That'd be crazy, bro. Like it's, it's mm. like it's Donald Trump's fault. <laughs> we'll and, back to Donald. <laughs> and then we're going back to that that meme of him in, in the um, what do you call it in Fresh Prince, where he's like, "Why is everyone angry at me for? <laughs> Why is everyone me for?" <laughs> Nah, no, man. Thing, man. That guy's no, but do you know? I'm not surprised though, mm. because politicians all over the world are just corrupt. I, I can't. There's no way I can trust them, man. Because even here in our own backyard, mm. in fact, well, not really our backyard, but you know, yeah. up, up north, <laughs> the man there, the husband is wiring campaign funds to his own account. Yeah, that was wild. Or Rishi? Huh? Was it a Rishi? No. I'm talking about um, the Scottish one, uh, Sturgeon's husband. Oh. Though. But him as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, something. him as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 no. Nah. Wasn't his wife, like, he was giving his wife contracts? Yeah, he was giving... I feel like a, a lot of them do He that. was giving contracts to his wife's company yeah. for... Um, I can't remember what it was. It was a lot of money as well. Bro, millions, bro. No one that he was doing... Remember when he was the Chancellor mm. of Exchequer during COVID and man did a nation in Palm Angel Slides? What a guy. Man said, don't worry about it. Yeah. I know COVID's hit everyone's bank accounts in 500 pound slippers. I said, go and slap him. Slippers. Yeah, but when you're working from home, don't you wear like easy slides or something? Same thing. <laughs> Same difference. <laughs> I ain't wish <Rishi. laughs> you. You trying to compare me? To- nah, I like it, man. Nah, uh, I vote Labour. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but politician. I don't know. Do you feel like we should be doing like VAR and stuff on them? 100%. Then he's. <clears throat> Do you know what it is? Like, then we should all just vote randomly, like, press a button on our phones. Like, you guys need to be checked. Mm. No, nah, because then that will happen all the time. Oh. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if it's damn sure I would do that all the time. I will be like, what? There's still potholes, yeah? Mm-mm. No, not, not like... It has to be, like, a majority of the population. Or people within a certain area or region. That it affects. Yeah. Do you, but I do don't even know. What, 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 what have we just said? <laughs> I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. But, but yeah, yeah so there needs yeah. to be some sort of like committee or board that are separate to the government that hold these men in check. Yeah, because yeah. you see, um, bonkers Boris mm. that was doing party party, everybody at that party during lockdown or whatever. What guy okay, missing you? Do you remember that? What's what's my man's name, bro? Um, no, no, no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> every week something new comes out of my. I'm just like, wait. Wow. First, this brother was grips in and lips in babes mm. uh, having an affair in the office. Where there's CCTV, it got leaked, and then he said, "Yeah, I found love in the office." Da, 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 da. And then he went to I'm a celebrity to go and show his human side. Even when he was showing his human side, the guy didn't even look human. <laughs> and then I'm not even trying to say it. What's my you know Liz Truss? Yeah. Who's the guy? The black guy? Was it Quaku or Kwame? Yeah. What's his name? Kwame Kwateng. Kwame Kwateng. <laughs> Aye, that one that chopped Liz for the job. Is that confirmed? Big bro, I'm being dead serious. That's how that's how he even got to where he was. He was <laughs> chopping Liz, bro. I need to fact check that. Bro, you can fact check it all you want. He was chopping her. Trust me. Mind the pun. Bro, that's the only reason he was in the job. And then when he was in the job, the guy, the guy just did rubbish. He got fired within like three months. He didn't even make it to, to winter. <laughs> Either way, all I'm saying is the 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 politicians need to be held accountable, man. Because they can't keep messing us over like this, bro. And they're so lucky that we're not French. Because if we were French, bro, London Bridge would be on fire right now. I think they were friends. I ain't seen that about sex. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. Because they don't want you to find it, bro. Oh! <laughs> they don't want you to find it. They want us locked in the Matrix, bro. Conspiracy theories. It's not even a conspiracy. It came out at the time. Were like, you happy your boy Andrew Tate was for you? My boy? Yeah, you've been defending him, mate. He's been def- Check roll back the tapes. Go back what, to what the. What are you talking about? What episode was it? The um. Oh, who were the girls? The two set podcast episode. Go back. Yeah. You've defended him, boy. I wasn't defending him. You were defending him. I wasn't him, defending him. Can you see how much you're pushing out? Pro tape. Can you, can you Go back, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's on record. I ain't lying. It's not. Well, I remember what I was saying. I said that I don't take him seriously, so I don't care about what he says. Mm. And I said this all the time. 
I see him as a on honestly, I see him the guy as a gimmick. I'm not gonna, you know, hold what he says as truth or as Bible when he's talking about this whole alpha male or da 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 da. Mm. I don't give a damn. Who are you, you, you brother? Just another internet figure. Like think, think about it. He's an internet figure. The guy hasn't done anything in real life. As far as I'm concerned. I'm saying all the stuff that he's done. I mean, he's a champion. No, hear what I'm saying. All the stuff that he's saying, like all the toxic alpha male stuff mm. and misogynistic, can you can't, everything, that's been posted online. Mm. I don't care about what's online. <clears throat> if he was rallying troops in the streets, saying all this stuff, whatever, going old school with it, then I'd be like, this guy is just, like, he's a problem. He's a tyrant. But I don't care because he's online. It's an online figure. No, I don't, I don't if really I saw the brother in real life, I'd be like, okay, that's Andrew Tate. Okay, but what does that mean? He's an internet figure, that's it. There's nothing to it. So you don't think he has like any control over people? He does, but like I said, I actually, I remember what I said. I said, the control he has over people just further emphasises how a lot of people take social media and what they see on social media as Bible and as law when it's not the case. Yeah, that's, that's, that's your world. No, no, no. We're no. talking about the world <laughs> where a lot of people are influenced by him. And, and so I get, I get what you're saying. Like you just see him as a gimmick, but... At the end of the day, bro, man got he could actually rally brother. guys to be saying certain things to women. When, when man got released from pen, man said, yeah, I'm going to go home. Uh, I think he said he's going to read the Quran, something like that. Nigga was playing bashment, smoking the cigar. Yeah, I don't need to judge, man. I ain't, I ain't judging. I'm just like, bro, happy like... Happy Ramadan to everyone, man. No, happy Ramadan to everyone. Hope Keep going strong. But what I'm saying is, I'm just like, bro, like... I don't, keep going strong. It's, it's, it's like... like troops, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? Keep going strong. What's that? Yeah, the fasting. No, but why you go like that? Strength, innit? <laughs> this guy is serious. What do you mean? I said, keep, keep going strong. Yeah, keep the strength up, guys. Let me continue. Anyways, what I'm saying is, yeah, is that, like, see, what I said was, uh, he got released, he was talking about, oh, yeah, he's going to do, like, all the religious stuff. Mm. And you go home, you just see a 30 second video of him walking back and forth, puffing a cigar when I don't even know who the hell in, in the back was playing music. I was just like, stuff like that is funny to me. I, it further shows how I see him as like a gimmick. It's not, how can you take anything this guy says seriously? Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, not I'm saying. I've that logic to a lot of people though. 100%, 100%. But I'm just saying it further reiterates my point of like, look, why are you guys taking this guy seriously? And people are now using it as memes when someone's cooking. What? Like that meme of him walking back and forth. When someone's cooking? No, like, like, like when they're cooking on Twitter or whatever. Oh, oh, oh. And it was like, I think one of them was like, oh, when you realise Anthony cost 100 mil and had less gold involvements than Pepe already. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's walking back and forth. Oh. Either way, I just, just, I don't know. I don't care about it, to be honest with you. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. I do, I do think he's a problem too. Not pro let me not say a problem, <clears throat> but I do think like you're kind of underplaying like the part of influence he was able to get from being a gimmick. Yeah, and do you know what I because I feel like what he does is the clips that maybe you see mm. is what makes him come off as a gimmick. But when you watch that whole interviews and stuff, he'll say something smart, and then he'll slowly reel people in. Yeah, and then he just put a lot of dumb things like in like Shine Reynolds <laughs> thing in it. Yeah, like, you'd be I, like, no, this guy's funny. Like, I ain't gonna uh, lie. That video's funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, but that's like, that's like the introduction to Andrew Tate. Yeah. And then you go watch him on Fresh and Fit. And then oh, you, don't even bring up the Fresh and Fit ones. And then he'll just start speeding, like, you know what some I'm saying? mad Everyone on the Fresh and Fit podcast is just, in my eyes, it's just dumb. No, but <clears> the thing even, with Fresh and Fit, yeah, it's like, if you look at where they're recording, they're recording in Miami, first of all. Yeah, exactly. The home of BBLs and strip clubs. And like, yeah, chicken heads. Like you're not you're not and it's in Florida and you're not really <laughs> Florida man is bound to strike. <laughs> no, but it's like you're not looking for you're looking for superficial people to come on your podcast already. Like yeah, and and that's why I said that the whole concept of it. I'm not saying everyone in Miami is superficial. I'm saying the girls that they bring on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can tell that they're just like, <clears throat> hey, you, 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 come on. Exactly, man. Say, where the cheeks at? You, 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 come. I only yeah, speak yeah. your opinions. Do you know what I mean? It's just like I don't know. It's just that's why I said. Like, it, again, I'm glad you brought the Fresh and Fit pod because I'm like, that one is just like, I don't know, you guys talk about rubbish a lot of the time. Well, from a lot of the clips I've seen, you guys just talk about rubbish. Like, he, who's the host of it? That light skinned brother. Byron. That brother annoys me sometimes, bro. I, I, I think I actually blocked the word Fresh and Fit <laughs> from Twitter. I respect it. Because I'm just like, why am I seeing all this rubbish? Mm. You guys are going, oh, a man does this and a woman and traditional man and yeah. traditional. Shut, shut, shut the fuck up. 
Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you no one wants to listen to that, bro. Do you think, like, let's talk about the in... social and economic construct oh, of the world? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, um, do you think, especially with like black Twitter as well, yeah. that the unspoken rule, not unspoken rule, the things that are unspoken is dead? Like what? So, like, what a man's meant to do and things like that. Do you feel like now that we're having <coughs> these conversations, like, Certain things that should be unspoken are like now spoken about too much. Yeah, um, like even because um, I don't think we, we recorded and speak, spoke about this, but even that whole getting paid for a girl's cab, whatnot, whatnot. <laughs> like even that is wild in itself. Paying for a girl's cab. Yeah, just from a safety aspect, like you don't know each other. This guy could be a serial killer. Now he has your address. That's quite true to be honest with you. Yeah, you know I hear it. On the first link, like, would you give a girl your address on the first link? No. Especially if you're you're planning on, like, get dating them, getting to know them, whatnot. Look, bro, if I'm planning to date them, if I'm just planning to chop, why am I giving my first, why am I giving my address on the first link? Yeah, so now imagine it from a woman's perspective. You as a man wouldn't do that. So now imagine... <coughs> exactly. It. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like... Uh, okay. Like, it's a cool I idea to, I, like... I don't want to say that the world is more dangerous for women, yeah. but I feel like there are more, like social dangers yeah, yeah, yeah because obviously i feel like the likelihood of a woman getting raped and a man getting raped yeah. is completely different yeah. so even in that aspect it's just wild so that's what i'm saying for from like a social point of view there's a lot more danger to, than yeah. than you think because i'm not gonna lie to you bro if i ordered a girl a cab now mm. that stays in my uber history for like what 12 months i think it expires after yeah something like that so for 12 months that person could have your address yeah, imagine the date goes wrong and you're a crazy girl. Right? Exactly. Like, it's, imagine Taryn when uh, that one yeah. that she was scuffling with in, in, in Westfield. Yeah. Imagine if he had booked her a cab home yeah. and he showed up one day. And then he saw the pod and then now he's pissed. Exactly. That's now he knows your yeah. Now he's yeah. going to pull up whilst you're in your room working from home before always. Oh, delivery man from Amazon. <laughs> Next week, you know, you get punched in your nose, bruv. Yeah. Socks all flying all over the place, bro. It's crazy. So yeah, guys, be careful, man. It's crazy out here, like for real. Like people don't realize that they're actually crazy people out here. And I get, back to what you're saying about the unspoken rule. I feel like nowadays people just want to talk about everything but nothing at the same time. Yeah. Especially black Twitter, or even I don't even I don't want to just say black people because you guys are gonna make me sound like I'm some sort of I don't know Uncle Ruckus or something, but. I mean, the camera's panned on you. You can. So. Yeah, I know. I'm, you could be whoever you want to be. Right? I, I, I'm a cook, regardless. Yeah, I don't care who. I don't, know, I don't care who likes it. <laughs> but I'm just gonna say, yeah, like a lot of what people hold value on, or I don't hold value on, but the trending topics on Twitter all the time is just bullshit. Like as as a community, we just talk about a lot of bullshit. Yeah, but no one wants to speak about serious stuff. You don't. You don't. Sometimes, what do you mean? Do you know what it is? As much as I like agree with what you're saying, sometimes I just want to hear some like dumb stuff. No, I, I get laugh, it. I get it. But if someone make like point I, out how stupid it is, I, sometimes I get it. I get it. I just want to go on Twitter to just relax and laugh. But That's you know it. It is. I don't want to hear though. This is why Black Lives Matter re- defunded. Yeah, I don't want to yeah, hear yeah, all yeah, those yeah, words. I, 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 I get that. I get that. But. You see when you said that you want to go... time and a place. Yeah, exactly. There's a time and a place. But you see when you said you want to go and relax and you know, yeah, laugh, yeah. laugh some stupid stuff. I get it. Everyone wants to laugh at stupid stuff every, yeah, every, yeah. every now and then. But when it's the same stupid stuff all the time. Yeah, but there's only so many things in life you can laugh about. Nah, man. Nah, nah. There's so, no, there's a lot. You can laugh about anything in life. Okay, bro. give Black Twitter some topics. Huh? <laughs> Brainstorm some topics for Black Twitter. <laughs> I don't know. Man. The thing is, like, oh, I don't know. I would say, like, because there's only so many things we all have in common and dating is just an easy one. Though. Exactly. So that's exactly what I was going to say. I was going to say funny dates, but then people start spinning it by saying worse dates mm. and then it goes back to the whole, oh, but as a man, you shouldn't do that. Or as a man, how are you doing this on a date? I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I, I don't mean, care. Someone else's, someone's preference. I'm sorry I'm swearing, but it, sh- it just frustrates me sometimes, you know? Nah. It really just grinds my gears. <laughs> sometimes when I hear stuff like, oh, like as a man, why are you doing this? Bruv, are you even a man? That you're saying as a man, so how do you know what a man takes? Is is your own fictional or or, or or psychological makeup of what a man is based on either what your dad or lack thereof of a dad put in front of you? So how do you even know what a man is when you're a woman? But then again, it goes back to the whole conversation that we have now and nowadays for some reason: what is a man? What is a woman? 
is it something that's societal or is it something that's biological? Is it something that's genetic or is it what? No, but you get what I'm saying? The, the, the whole conversation just spiraled. I am not smoking. Is my phone ringing? Oh my God, they're hearing me. I'm not saying... I no, but into what is a man or no, what no, is a but, woman. But, no, but you get what I mean, though. Black Twitter conversation. No, but, you, you no, but can you see what I mean? This is a clear example, bro. It's a clear example. No, but Black Twitter doesn't go that far. Huh? Black Twitter doesn't go that far. No, but I'm saying the f- the foundations of those conversations, yeah, mm. is only allowed to be had because of the state of the world that we're, that we're in right now, where it's kind of like blurred lines between gender, sex, all this identity stuff, which, whatever, each to their own. But because of that, there's a lot of, oh, wait, why can you talk as what a man is when you're not a man? Or are you a man today? Or what? Like, do you know what I mean? Mm, there's I a, that last bit's a drag, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, but you, you kind of get what I'm saying. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I, but at the same time... I, I cook like 85% of the time, and the last 15 <laughs> sometimes it doesn't make sense in it. Yeah, but the final pass is a bit... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Man, you in paprika instead of oregano. It's crazy. <laughs> but, but um, yeah, I don't know what topics I actually want from Black Twitter. I don't expect much when I go on Twitter. To be fair. I just expect better sometimes, you know. No, but like what? Like what no, do you no, want? No, but this is this is like this again. <laughs> like I get, I get it's repetitive, but I'm just like ugh, think on, about bro. how long you've been on Twitter for. Yeah, is it that repetitive? I've been on Twitter for ten years. You're bound to see the same things over. Yeah, again. exactly. So, yeah, I, I hear that, and that, that, obviously when that whole um, oh, what was it? When we were going through the pandemic and it was mm. that work from home, not work from home. <laughs> What's it? What's that thing called? Um, what? what when people were cooking it in tubs and all that stuff. That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Tub that was le- bro. When we thought World War Three was gonna happen. Like there are moments in between. Yeah, exactly. Where it's just it's yeah, just but World War Three doesn't happen every day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not laughing about Ukraine and Russia. So <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What did he say? <laughs> no, no, because it was bleeped. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking at you, nigga. <laughs> you forget this is a 50 50 partnership. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Exactly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. I, don't I feel know, like bro. we expect a lot from. Like, if you have that many people on one platform, they're just going to speak about random stuff. 100%. Just got to curate your timeline to what you want in it. Yeah. You're for you. <laughs> You're for you to are. <laughs> yeah, ju- just, uh, you've seen that update, innit? When mm. I was for you and following. Mm. I kind of hate it when other apps copy each other, man. Yeah. Like, oh, TikTok is booming. They got for you and following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snapchat, that's how that. Spotify have done it. Have they? Yeah. I don't even use Spotify anymore. Yeah. That's crazy. You, you just convert it to the right side now. That's it. <laughs> Spotify. Wait, what do you mean for you and following? Oh, as in following artists and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, and they have like, it looks like they have a TikTok feed. Oh, allow it, allow it, allow it. Can you see what I mean? Absolutely. And it all started with flipping Snapchat with the whole stories. Yeah. Bro. Crazy. I can't and remember. Then Instagram, uh, not Instagram. Um, Instagram even copied Twitter a bit with the circle. You know that notes thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Oh, kind of like Fleet, so, so, I swear. Yeah, they yeah. did that. I yeah, don't know, There's man. a lot of copying going on. But and now there's a lot of payment on Twitter as well, which yeah, there look. wasn't. Cool. That's Spotify. Yeah. Oh, allow it, man. No, Apple Music looks better now, man. Yeah. Only thing I don't like about Apple Music is the fact that discovering music is harder. It's horrible. It's so much harder. It's horrible. If it's not in a playlist, you ain't hearing shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. it. If it's not in a playlist, you ain't hearing nothing. But um, do you know what? I even forgetting. Happy Easter, guys. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. If you guys are celebrating. Happy I'll, Easter. Uh, yeah, I'll release this on Sunday. Why not? I'll release this on Sunday. Or just Easter Monday? No, nah, I'll do it on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he rose up on Sunday. What, what? Yeah. I know, but... But Monday's like... Um, no, I'm saying because it's a bank holiday, so... I guess. We don't, we don't, we've never... Have we ever released on a Sunday? I don't think we have. Yeah, for, for Christmas. I don't know. Either way, happy Easter, guys. Hope you guys did have a nice Easter. Um, we've got a bit of Easter trivia for you guys, actually. And funny thing is, I know the questions and the answers. He doesn't. So, where are guys, this? All these hit blunts. Now he wants to come get revenge. <laughs> you guys are trying to catch me up, but no, I say that. Okay. okay, cool. So, I'm just going to ask you just just random questions, and they're all Easter related, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Um, right. So, in the 13th century. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow you to call How a friend. How many questions are there? 
I'm just gonna say like five or whatever. No, <laughs> that's a good zero for five. That's I'm mean. gonna I'm gonna allow you to call a friend twice. I'm gonna be nice twice. Yeah. At this time, at this hour. Hey, listen. In the 13th century, mm. the church prohibited eating what during Holy Week? Fish. Was it? Huh? Uh, sorry, continue. <laughs> I didn't know it was normal <laughs> choice. So bad. Go ahead, go ahead. Are you if sure? it's normal choice, yeah, okay, I'll probably get this. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Was it A, yeah. fish, yeah. B, chicken, mm. or C, eggs? I'm going to go for fish. Fish. Chicken, my God. It's eggs. Is it's it? eggs. Yeah, yeah man, it's eggs. This was good though. Okay. What baked good is a good Friday tradition in England? Mm. Is it A, hot cross buns? Mm. Is it B, shepherd's pie? <laughs> or is it C, bread pudding? I'm going to go for A. Hot cross buns? Yeah. Got it correct. All right, all if right. If you said that was wrong, I'd <laughs> 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 I don't know about that. This is rigged. It's a fucking disgrace. <laughs> okay. Um... In what country did the tradition of the Easter bunny originate? Mm. Was it A, Switzerland, mm. B, Italy, or C, Germany? I'm trying to think who likes bunnies the most. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Easter bunny. <laughs> or Easter bunny. Uh, what was B again? Huh? What was B again? Italy. So I said Switzerland, Italy, Germany. Mm. I'm trying to think. It does, it does Germany. You can you can call a friend if you want. No, nah, I'm doing this dolo. Uh, I'm gonna go for Germany. See, you're correct. <laughs> you're correct. Two for free. Not bad. All right, all right, all right, cool. Next one. Easter Island is a part of which country? Okay. Is it A. Peru, mm. B. Chile, mm. or C. Paraguay? I'm gonna go for this is probably gonna be wrong, but whatever. Chili. Chili? Yeah. You are correct. Damn. You are correct. Damn. All right, cool. I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so there were two questions left. Yeah, two questions two left. Time. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop me, dude. Okay, cool. Where is the largest Easter egg museum in the world? Is it A, Chile, mm. B, Germany, mm. or C, Poland? I'm going to go Poland. Why, you think it's all the war? <laughs> <laughs> the video is Poland. It is Poland, I ain't going to lie, it's Poland. Hey, what the... Hey, hey you, guys, <laughs> you guys can't stop me, man. This guy cheated as I oh my goodness. That's a cheating. You've been watching me this whole time, I ain't cheating. Okay. Actually, do you know what it is? I'll ask you. I'll ask you two more questions. This guy's gonna uh, make up a new question. Yeah, yeah I'm making up a new question. I ain't gonna, <laughs> I'm trying to catch in the gap. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, this will also test you a bit. So, in the Bible, how many days passed between Jesus' death and the resurrection? I ain't giving you multiple choice for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do that one. <clears throat> so, what is this like? Like working days. Must <laughs> <laughs> did I go to work on that day or was that before no, Sunday was like, a blessed day? <laughs> like if we're included, if we're not including the weekends, but you know how some delivery companies start. Like, bro, Saturdays. this is a question, fam. How like, many I days? I started to deliver on Sunday, so like, yeah, right, man, trying to buy time. You can call a friend if you want. I'm going free. Free? Yeah. Ah, oh, need to stop this guy. It's the right answer, still. Duh. <laughs> it's the right answer. I was gonna say I was I was gonna overthink it and say like two and a half or two. Yeah, but I mean, come on. Yeah, it's three. Three. <laughs> it's three. It's three. Let's be real. All right, cool. Last last question. Yeah, don't care. Um, <clears throat> Ennis, is more candy sold for Easter, Christmas, Valentine's, or Halloween? Christmas. I'm going Christmas. Nope. What is it? Give me one more try. Oh, Actually, fuck that. I don't give me a try. It's Halloween. <laughs> Come on. Wait, man. in what country, though? No, in the world. Think about it. Trick or treating, bro. People yeah, just but give out candy. We don't do that in this country, like that. No, we do. You, not really, yeah. Not on ends. <laughs> 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 not on my block. <laughs> not on my block, what the hell? I'm not giving out candy. 
<laughs> I'm giving out Indomie and Maggie. Well, I said Indomie and Maggie. You don't know what to do with that. <laughs> Indomie, that's chocolate, mate. No, nah, big man thing. But it's funny, though, because, like, the whole Easter bunny stuff, mm. you know, different countries have, like, different animals. That so what are some of the other animals? Like the cuckoo. The who, sorry? The cuckoo. What's that? It's like a cuckoo, like a bird. Or oh. Something. You get it? I'm sure that has another name. I don't know. That's the cock. <laughs> that's, what that's what it's called, the cuckoo. That's the sound it makes. It? Yeah, it's the cuckoo. It's the same as like the root. No. Yeah, because rooster, rooster is... doesn't go rooster. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they say rooster's roost. Do you get it? Stop, stop. <laughs> that's what they say, bro. They say rooster's roost, shoot, shoot. It's the same thing. <laughs> rooster's roost, shoot, shoot. Bro, rooster's Okay, yeah, roost. cuckoos are birds. I told you. That's... That's a rooster's roost. <laughs> they do. What did they? What, what, what did they do? What else did they do? They just yell, bro. <laughs> they are sick and tired. Of but but you're lucky though, because I would have. Um, uh, there was there was so many other questions I was going to ask you. Some of them were kind of easy. Oh, like what is the man. what is the forty day period before Give Easter? Me my A star. What's the forty day <laughs> period before Easter? Uh, Lent. Mm-hmm. Alright, cool. why did I think about that? <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I was going to say Passover, but I was like, nah. Just like, Passover? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that came to mind. Hey, yo. Fair enough. Um, actually, oh, never mind, because this doesn't really apply. But um, I was going to say, what colour would the Easter, de- Easter eggs died? Like the original Easter eggs. Colour? Yeah. Like, why did they die it the first time? I don't know. It was dyed red to represent the blood of Jesus Christ. Apparently. I was going to say something, but... Oh, I thought that would be sent to hell. I thought like that would be sent on judgment. <laughs> don't be done. Just don't be done. So God is going to be like, who are you to 2023 <laughs> when you said this? <clears throat> God's going to respect my self control. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but it's weird though because don't you think like holidays like Easter, Christmas mm. have, be- have become like too commercial? That people have forgotten about like the religious aspect of it. I mean, if you're not religious, then what are you meant to do in that period? But then again, uh, so this is what I was going to say. Because obviously people know this is like a Christian country. Mm. And the reason I did that is because like, it's really... <laughs> I mean, it had Christian origins also. Yeah, Christian origins. But I feel like for the vast majority of the country, it's not the same yeah. anymore. Um, so I was going to say, and I said this one time to <laughs> my atheist friend at the time. Um, I haven't spoken to that person in ages because just school friends, innit? Mm. <clears throat> I was like... So if you don't believe in God, why do you celebrate Christmas? I don't think they celebrate it. I think they just spend time with their family. Yeah, them niggas are dressing up as Santa Claus and shit. No, that's not celebrating Christmas. No, but they're celebrating Christmas. Re- okay, they're celebrating the holiday, but they're not like praying to Jesus. As like. you should, but that's on, no, but that's that's the point I'm getting at. Because yeah, but Christmas it's like two separate things. Because Christmas is what? Well, to us, it's about Jesus. It's not about Santa but Claus. To, to them, it's about Christmas film, spending time with family, Easter. presents. It's about eggs. I don't know what that has to do with the Bible. But Bro! <laughs> like, I didn't even... Oh, no, because, um, like I just said, in the 13th century, they said, don't eat eggs. I and mean, the Bible week. wasn't written in the 13th century, no? So when was it written? I don't know. Over a period of time, but... But what 13th century are you talking about? Like what where? other 13th century? No, I'm saying where? Like what, where? What like, other 13th century is there, bro? No, I'm saying what the country? in the multiverse. I'm saying what country, though? I just didn't say it was a country. It didn't say anything about a country. I'm saying like the 13th century is just like... No, like but... 13th century Rome. Like, give me something. Okay, fair enough. You saved yourself. <laughs> you saved yourself. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Why about right. just give you a vast period <clears> of time? <laughs> <laughs> a whole century, you know? <laughs> But yeah, it's like, so the Easter Bunny, you just mm. said where it come from. Germany, for some reason. Yeah, but what does that have to do with the Bible? Pfft. I don't know. I don't remember there being rabbits back then. I haven't heard anything like... Well, rabbit. maybe there were, but... Rabbits in Egypt or Israel. Come on now. <laughs> come on now. In the desert as well. <laughs> exactly. Them rabbits are getting cooked naturally, bro. <laughs> there ain't, ain't no forest or greenery for them to hide or burrow there. Nah, man, there ain't no rabbits back there. Trust me. <laughs> if there was, I would have heard about it. Or like in, <laughs> there was a Bible I used to have back in the day where we had the illustrations. Them rabbits weren't about for Palm Sunday. It's <laughs> true. They weren't about, bro. And if they were, why were they? God did. <laughs> <laughs> but um, 
God did. <laughs> but um, to go back to the commercialization thing, I don't think it's. A, I don't think it's a problem, but it's the thing where it's like you need to remember why we have this day, because even like. Oh, so you want them to go to work if they don't remember, like, huh? Like, what's the if they don't remember? What do you want to happen? Them to go to work. I feel like atheists should have a different calendar. Or different holidays or a different calendar? Both. Yeah, but you're going to want their holidays as well. What holidays would I have? What, what holidays would they have? No, I'm saying if they have like, you know how they had Santa Claus and all that stuff, imagine mm. they created like their own. Based off of what? Characters. Or <laughs> <You> <laughs> they think? did. Yeah, Iron Man Day or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't this, know. This guy <laughs> thinks we're living in, in <coughs> day six or whatever. Tell me the difference between Iron Man and Santa Claus. What? They're both fake. <laughs> so, please, tell me the difference. Iron Man might be bigger. Pause. Um, Iron Man hey. is just... A, hey, I hey, don't hey. I'm, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right, cool. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I ain't seen Santa Claus fight Thanos. So I'm just saying. Of course not. And win. That nigga's getting stuck in chimneys, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going to say, um, the only reason I said that, the only reason I made that point Again, in school, I said, oh, it shouldn't atheists have different calendars? Because AD stands for what? Not after death. Exactly. But they don't even believe that he ever existed. So... Yeah, but there's some Christians so... who don't believe that Jesus huh? was the son of God. So that death means nothing to them. Say that one more time. There are some factions of Christianity... No, but actually, just look at the camera when you say that. Though. There are some factions of Christianity that don't believe Jesus Christ was the son of God. And which factions is that? Oh, Jehovah's Witness and then man. I'm not saying names. No, what I'm saying is that Jehovah's Witness and them. Oh, yeah, they exist out there. I'm not gonna. So Jehovah's Witness. I'm not gonna exclude the Jehovah Witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'm including them, but I'm not gonna exclude yeah. them. <laughs> I didn't say it in it. What the fuck? Oh, that's what I. Like. Uh, so uh, should they change their calendar as well? But then, like, if you don't feel like this guy isn't this isn't, like, isn't the whole point of Christianity that you're gonna follow Jesus Christ and you believe that He's the Lord and Savior? I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> no, I know. This, 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 <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't even understand Jehovah's Witness. I'll be so real with you. Yeah. I don't like who's. If it's not Jesus Christ, what Jehovah? No, as in, <laughs> what Jehovah did you witness? If it's not Jesus Christ, yes. why not? What if they're cool people? Huh? What if they're just cool people? I'm sure they are. <laughs> but it's like the same way I don't want like I don't know like Mormons and that on the pod I feel like that'd be fun wait is it Mormons or is it um, who are those people that are like stuck in like the t- yeah dead? I think it might be Mormons is it Mormons no. Amish Amish yeah like, I, I, like like, American I actually thing. know I feel like it would be kind of cool to have an Amish nigga on the pod that's what I'm saying like Ezekiel how is it for you Ten into the fields alright I'm just saying, let's have, a, <laughs> let's have an open mind. You know? No, no, I'm having, a, no, oh, don't get me wrong, I'm, I have an open they mind. They could have a banging personality, mate. And I think they do. Especially Amish people, bruv. Like, but, but who would listen to that episode, though? Not his community. Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, How do you even reach them? We just, we just have to stumble across them. <laughs> but I guess we could do like, Ezekiel! You'd be like, yes, ye. <laughs> That By the way, of... guys, this is a mid-led episode, and look how many religious things <laughs> no, we no. have touched oh, upon. My... It's Easter. This is about 60% of the episode. No, it's not. We spoke about some politics earlier. Yeah, so about some five so- minutes. We some, <laughs> some social contracts. Yeah. And then Go somehow on. that led into it. <laughs> is, I think because I have such an open mind, the, the, the episode has just been allowed to spiral into different topics. Yeah. And do you know is, I feel like the listeners would appreciate that. No, I don't think they'll complain, but... I don't think they'll complain. I'll be like, oh, they'll be like, oh, be like, oh my gosh. Maybe maybe he's right. About what? I don't know. I'm just niggas, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I, the thing is, I'm just thinking, like, it's weird how things like that develop. What? Like, in terms of, like, so why doesn't... Why do you think that your God doesn't want you to have, like, technology and all that sort of stuff? Do you know what I mean? That's culture, I guess. Yeah, I know it's culture, but I'm but saying, like... like imagine... <clears throat> for example, imagine... What's what's the <laughs> Go on. You're gonna laugh at you figure out what I forgot. Imagine yeah. white people didn't come to Africa. <laughs> I forgot what I forgot the word white people. <laughs> I said, oh yeah, what the what are them What are their race? Them, them niggas ain't. No, but imagine niggas, the Europeans <laughs> but imagine the Europeans that come to Africa. Well probably in Africa they'll probably still be the same 
or technology would advance in a different way mm-hmm. to what we have. Now. I think we. I think honestly, honestly speaking, I think we'd be better off. Yeah, nice hypothetical, but yeah, sure. I think no, like honestly, I'm not gonna say it's like <coughs> it's gonna be like. I'm not every, saying we would have been, but I'm just saying. I'm not saying like, every nation is gonna be like Wakanda, yeah. but I'm just saying I feel like we potentially would have been better off, and I think it would be a thing where. You see how people say like America rules the world. Mm. I feel like we would, like just Africa as, a, as, and I feel like I don't want to say specifically West Africa. And the only reason I'm saying that is because of things like the Benin Empire. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Which was, and even the Mali Empire as well. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Someone like Mansa Musa, who obviously all of his wealth is like, you know, they said that his, he would have been like I can't remember how much they said his wealth was, but it was like trillions or something mm. like that, equivalent to today. Um, <clears throat> Don't quote me on that. But yeah, apparently, like, people like those guys who lived back then, it would have been mad to see where they would have taken it and whatnot. Because obviously things such as, like, maths and science Mm. was birthed in Africa. When you think about it, like, Egypt. Mm. Complex languages such as, like, hieroglyphs Mm. and old tribal languages. Even the fact that, like, Nigeria has, I think, over 200 languages. Mm. It's crazy. Yeah. Did you get it? So I feel like it would have advanced... There's, like, 200 million people. (laughs) 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 Cut out your dog. Listen, we ain't, we, ain't, we ain't all gonna speak the same. Exactly. <laughs> like. <laughs> no, but you got know what I mean. Yeah, though, I get what you're saying. I get what you're it saying. It could have, you know what I mean? Gone, gone, I but been, to be fair, like, no empire lasts as well. So there's that. Exactly. Like, look at the greatest empire. I think it was the Roman Empire. Yeah. That was kind of crazy. Funny, that's not here anymore. So Exactly. Like, same thing could happen there. Same, you know, same with the world. British Empire, technically. Yeah, America's coming to the end as well. China. China up now. Um, did you see the agreement they made with Russia, India? <laughs> yeah, that I play monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> that is a power Aye. move. Man said, I see these niggas got hotels. <laughs> and uh, no, nah, here. And when I saw South Africa as well, I was like, oh yeah, I know what they do. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I hear it. Why are Indians or I'm not saying why are Indians, but like, why can't you use your own currency? What do you mean by that? Like, as in, their main, India before, mm. their main trading currency was US dollars. Mm. But they have rupees mm. at home. Bruv, you used them rupees, bruv. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, I come guess. on, bruv. Like, even in places that, like, I'm going to say this country only because um, I was sp- speaking to someone and they were telling me about it. But like, Trinidad as well, bruv. Mm. That man using dollars. What you got, you man got Trini, like, whatever. I can't remember, I don't know what it's called. But you got Trini currency as well. Did you get it? I mean, it's more so a stability thing. No, but. Come on, the about US dollar is more stable than most of their <clears throat> currencies. Not recently, though. Still, way more stable than their currencies. Like even I, 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 the I, I get it, but how? Changes that but how will you make it stable? By no, de- by developing your currency and developing your your country. Yeah, but you know that's a process. You know, it's, it's a process, but you have to start the process. And yeah, you have to trust the process. Call right, Embiid. You got to trust the process. I guess, but no, nah, that's not really how currency works, man. No, and, and just, I'm still I'm still trying to understand it. Do you know what I mean? Because when I saw um, when I saw that, and I saw them all holding arms together in the hood, I was like, yeah, it's just done. <laughs> I said, like, they come for you, niggas. <laughs> I've already started learning Cantonese, man. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Better start learning Chinese, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's what Cantonese is. <laughs> no, that's what I'm, no, I'm saying. The what do you call it? The NBA thing. What? You know when they, when the players start stinking and like, oh yeah. Oh, time, time to learn Chinese, well, buddy. Yeah, to go to <laughs> exactly, bro. You seen Dwight Howard in, in the Chinese league? Yeah, he's, he's been, been crazy. Going crazy. He's been going crazy. But man's, man's got handles. <laughs> handles. Dwight Howard. <laughs> but to be fair, he's not like that old. Like he's younger than LeBron. No, exactly. And he's not like he was a superstar at one point. Oh, hundred percent. Just injury that. Yeah, I mean, what I mean, for the mean? last, where was he? I think it was the Clippers. He was at last. No, nah, it was the Lakers. No, before no, it was, it was um, no. I, I remember, I remember, I remember he was at the lake. Oh, thank you, Philadelphia. It was the blue kit that I was remembering. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he still all right. I mean, he know he wasn't the starting five, but you no, know. he was bad. But no, huh? he was bad. No, but he wasn't that bad. No, they literally put him on for like fouls. <laughs> like, he wasn't good. Yeah, he's <laughs> 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 they were playing him in garbage minutes, like yeah, but, like yeah. nigga damn minutes. I don't know, yeah. but um. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting though. I really hope the Naira improves, cause bruv, it's like it's like almost six six bills to one. Yeah, it's bad. Last time I went, it was like two fifty or something. Damn, it's getting worse, bro. Because of that election, I'm sure that did not help. 
I don't know, but last time I went was like eight years ago or seven years ago. Oops. And it was two fifty and I was like, damn, it's not like here five fifty or something, five sixty. Well, let's start learning Chinese, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, they're taking over. Unfortunately. Oh, Python as well. Huh? Python and Chinese. What? Because ChatGBT's taking over. You said Python? <laughs> yeah. As in the programming language? Yeah. <laughs> so you better learn that and Chinese. Oh, yeah. I'm good with the Python stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It's the, it's You're good the with the Python paws, nigga. Oh! <laughs> 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 You said it confidently as well. That's a, yeah, I know my way around a Python. <laughs> hey, don't say hey, that. Yo. Hey, don't say that. <laughs> hey, yo. I'm talking about coding. I'm talking about coding. Hey, yo. <laughs> it's my, it's my, oh, that's not my job. Ah, oh, pause. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh. I said I'm familiar with anacondas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pause, nigga. Pause. Just, just funny though. Just funny. Because there actually is something called Anaconda three, mm, you're and familiar with it. I don't use someone it. Say, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm some sort of fire for that. No, 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 no. But it's just like <coughs> some of the coding stuff is very sus. Like there's a Jenkins. That, there's one thing called Jenkins here, mm. yeah, and you use it to run like pipelines, or whatever. Mm. But to start those pipelines, you call them Jenkins slaves. Yeah, and it does all the work for you. And you decided to keep on pursuing this, like. As a career part. I don't use Jenkins. Oh. I, I literally don't use Jenkins. People in my team use Solidarity, Jenkins. Solidarity, I guess. Exactly. But I'm the only person, I'm the only black person on my team that doesn't use Jenkins slaves. Hmm. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like there's a lot of there's a lot of sus terminologies and like I don't know, it's just ah, oh, it's weird. Like the thing we use git. Like you know how people it was like git. <laughs> What do you mean? No, you know like how like, people used to call people like, "Oh, you're a git." No, I don't know what that means. It's like a Cockney term, like you're like you're. It's kind of like a uh, substitution of you're a twat. Oh, we use something called git, okay. and it's like the same thing. Or you can, and there's one thing you can like git bash. Excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say to me? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't you know, can, know what that means. Like, I'm gonna can, take it as like, respect. Like, you can, <laughs> <laughs> like you can git bash here or git bash there. No. Anywhere let's, on your let's, let's you can get you can get bash anywhere on your desktop. I don't want to know more about bashing and pythons. And <laughs> all. You can actually run kills. get bashing during Python. Oh uh, yeah. Hey yo, pause. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. Let's, let's, let's get out of hand. Hey, what the hell? Then you got right get log about. I'm not joking. I'm joking. <laughs> this guy can't help himself. No, wait, is, are we done? I mean. Have we done? I don't Do you want to add any more rappers to our top ten list? Um, UK, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Give me a minute. Give me sixty seconds on the clock. I mean, it's usually two, but if you want six. No, nah, I want sixty, so I can I can put on on I can make a show out of it. Because uh, um, when I did my chip run, they were like YouTube were like, mm, nigga, that's more than sixty seconds. You can't yeah. post that. All right, cool. Three, two, one, go. Stormzy. <laughs> Stormzy. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was in the now for a little bit, but then I went. I went down memory lane. Stormzy has to be considered a goat, you know. And, be, and like, I didn't want to say it because I felt like he ran from Chip in terms of the be the beef and whatnot. But we need to look at where Stormzy came from and what he's taken UK music to. Mm -hmm. You can't deny that he's a goat. You know, he's firing to be freestyle, cold. One of his most iconic freestyles. Shut up. Like people call it, some people call it freestyle, some people don't. Whatever, it's still iconic. It made it. He kind of put the scene on the map. I guess you can say that in terms of the whole grime scene. When he really shut up, people say, "Oh, Stormzy's not grime. Stormzy's not that." I'm gonna sound like crazy tits right now, but shut up. You don't know nothing. Stormzy is of course grime. Came from grime, and what he's done now to take it from. Okay, cool. I'm not just a grime rapper released GSAP. I feel like GSAP is one of the best debut albums of any artist in the UK. That's time. Fuck that timer. <laughs> <laughs> I must have said I wanted it to be on TikTok and it was like... I don't give a damn about no shorts. Nigga, we making filet mignon. Anyways, Stormzy, yeah? GSAP, one of the greatest debut albums. Yeah? His second one, Heavy Is The Head or Crown? No, Heavy Is The Head. Yeah. Good album. Mm. Didn't live up... Of course, you can't... After you release a classic, it's hard to match up. Mm. His recent one, 
Um, mm. This is what I mean. Mm. I feel like a lot of people didn't really like it because it's very different. Mm. And I've taken some time. Doesn't mean it's good. No, 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 I hear that. But I've taken some time to actually take in what that album is. And I think it's another thing, like when you were saying with Kendrick Lamar, it's a, <coughs> it's a conceptual album. <coughs> Did you get it? Um, not really. What do you mean? What's the concept? He's... <coughs> Damn, you good over there, nigga? Nah, but... The storms he poisoned you, bro. <laughs> He's like, I can't let that guy speak on my name. Nah, um, I feel like it's a it's a conceptual thing where he's trying to move away from saying that, you know, I'm just trying to do rap. Let me do a bit of arms, R&B. Let me give a bit of soulful music. Do you know what I mean? He had a little it's bit of rap It's bended, but I wouldn't say it's conceptual, though. Like, he doesn't have, like, a... Okay, maybe conceptual is the wrong... I think experimental is the word that Like, Dave use. makes conceptual albums where psychodrama is about, like, mental health and then... Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I meant to say was experimental then. Yeah. What's the other one? What's his <coughs> latest one? What? We're all in this alone... To, we're all alone... In, <laughs> sorry. We're all alone in this together. Yeah, that was, like, about immigration and all but that. But I didn't like that album. I'll be so honest with you. That Dave one, I didn't like it. Like, do you know there's only, like, 11 tall songs on there? I did not like it. About no. seven of them are good. I, I actually didn't it's like it. It's just not, it's just not like it, psychodrama level. Yeah, and I couldn't, for some reason, I found myself not being able to play it all the way through it. Yeah, I'll play it all the way through, it's not. Psychodrama, I could play all the way through. Yeah. You know, probably skip Purple Heart or whatever, but, you know. I like Purple Heart. Oh, you got a Purple Heart. No, I like it, man. I ain't gonna listen to that shit. That song's good. Nah, I like nah, it. Nah, 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 nah. I like the other ones, but not Purple Heart. Sorry, man. But, um, yeah. Stormzy's a goat, man. Can't lie. The only thing in my book that he needs to do to become like, Top three is, and this is just especially because he came from Grime mm. and it's almost like a litmus test to see if you're really guy. Mm. I just want to see him do more three stars and ciphers. I'll be so real with you. Do you feel like Stormzy has done enough? <clears throat> not enough. Let me not say enough because that's the wrong word. Stormzy has maintained his core audience over the years. No. So for me, that's that's a worrying. It's a worrying thing. But I feel like I feel like someone like Skepta, even though he was on Drake's album and whatnot, whatnot. Mm -hmm. I feel like every time he does something, the UK still embraces him like he's doing Gram from back in the day. And I feel like that's because I feel like Stormzy made the jump or made the switch quicker than a lot of people would. And mm -hmm. I feel like here it's put under the microscope a lot more mm -hmm. than it would be if he were in America. No, or, I think, I think and, and, America and when, when you compare them to Skepta, sorry, when you compare them to Skepta <coughs> in terms of that, in terms of like, oh, the longevity, keeping your core fans, mm. and even when you go off to do something else, when you come yeah, back yeah. and do something, people still love you. I feel like it's just because the way Stormzy took off, mm. let's be real, we've never seen that before. Yeah. We've never seen it before. Yeah. From when he was doing Shut Up to appearing on uh, uh, American stuff, like on these Jimmy Fallon shows mm. and all these whatever. And then he's just... Like, I don't even know exactly how to describe it, mm. but he moved. I think this is probably why Jay-Z took an interest in him mm. because he showed that he's a bit, how can I say it? He's wiser than his age mm. because he made a lot of business moves. And I feel like that's why- Murky he's been books able, and all that stuff. Yeah, exactly. Murky yeah. books, the stuff with, the, with Oxford University, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, even when he was doing some, I think- Ah, I don't want to say backlash, but you know when he was talking about like, oh, like fuck Theresa May and mm. all the other stuff and da 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 da. I feel like he made those smart moves mm. earlier than anyone else would have in their career. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like that's why because he made that turn so quickly. People were like like bro, like what, what about us? We wanted you to continue with this UK rap and UK grime mm. stuff, but he's like, nah, man, I'm not really trying to do that as much. Like I'm trying to focus on building uh, an empire, mm. not just for music. And I feel like that's why a lot of people just like, I ain't even trying to listen to Stormzy anymore. And plus, he went on like a three-year break as well. So, my question is, with the rise of artists like Central C, who are doing crazy, <clears throat> crazy numbers, I wouldn't say he's as talented as Stormzy, but... Good. With him doing the same numbers, mm -hmm. and him getting... I'll, I'll, I'll honestly make this statement, and I'll stand by it. The core UK audience probably like Central C more than they like Stormzy right now. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you're wrong in saying that. So, if Central C does this for another three years, because DP came out in what, 2019? What, with Loden, yeah. Yeah, like late 2019. If he does this for Maybe another three years, but yeah. isn't it crazy that he's in the same conversation as Stormzy? If you think That's about very it. crazy. No, but think about the numbers he's done. No, it's crazy because 
Stormzy and you know, it's, I get it, numbers, uh, but not everything is a numbers game. And and things, it's a ca- it's a bit of a catch twenty two. No, but Central C can actually make a claim that he's done something that no other UK rap. Like, I know people like to say, "Oh, Chip did the song mm-hmm. with Chris Brown and one," but like Americans are generally catching on to Central C a year or two after he broke out in the UK. Do you know how rare that is? Like, think about how long it took Chip to be established in this country mm-hmm. before they like Chip had to be one of the best in this country before even Americans knew of him. I hear that. Central C is still discovering himself and he's kind of like an under, not underground. But I, I, I but he's, he's an emerging he's a, he's a rising star. Yeah, he's yeah. a rising star <clears throat> there and he's pretty much a rising star. Like his legacy is cemented here as well. I hear that. So like, when you look at it... The only reason why I'd say that's crazy is because <coughs> Stormzy, I'd like, bro, hey, rude boy, shut up. Stuff like that. Shut up went crazy. Mm. I don't think like... You can't compare the impact that Sharp had to the impact that Loading had. I don't think, or I think, yeah, and, 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 and also <laughs> no, actually no. You might be able to because of something like TikTok. Yeah. If TikTok was around the same time as Shut Up. Yeah, but I'm not doing. That I'm not. I know. Though. I know. We don't like to do that. If if what yeah, and yeah, maybe's, yeah. but like, let's be real. Like no, but like it was. It was everywhere. Like literally everywhere. Everybody was rocking SSTs, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Wicked Skank... <laughs> but <laughs> Wicked Skankman freestyles, people loved it, bro. Even when he was making songs like Standard. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's... I, I don't know. You can't you can't say that because it's... Like I said before, it's a Catch-22 where it's not a numbers game, but at the same time it is. Yeah, but I'm just saying a lot. A lot of guys like that, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be up to date with all of our releases and tune into the whole episode now on Spotify and Apple.